All right, guys. Welcome back to No Filter MMA. You know, guys, I really hate to be nasty on my last video, but I had to set some things straight because some people was getting some shit twisted. But anyways, let's talk some MMA. Here we go. So, the uh, hugely anticipated fight between Cain Velasquez and Francis Ngannou. That was uh, that was a huge possible. You know, it was like a title lim eliminator bout. You know, I think, you know, by Francis Ngannou winning this fight, it kind of stagnates him a little bit because they don't, I'm not sure if they really want him to fight for the title again, but um, especially winning the way this fight went, you know what I'm saying? Like, this fight didn't go quite as devastatingly as Ngannou wanted it to go. Um, and, you know, if Kane would have won this fight, they could have been possible some way because him and DC said they'd never fight each other, but that could have been possible title ramifications if if Kane would have won this fight but the way this fight went you know it just it, it, it wasn't a very exciting fight it, it, it ended kind of quickly before it started but you know a lot of people are saying Kane Velasquez and I, I'm gonna have to agree with Kane about the all right let me, let me let me go back a step people are saying that there was it was a punch involved you know that that it was the insane power of and Francis Ngannou, I, I, I don't think so. I'm have to, like I said, I'm gonna have to agree with Cain Velasquez that it wasn't the punch. It was the fact that when he, when his knee slipped, you guys can see it. I mean, they played it in slow motion. Um, that is kind of what messed up the flow of Cain Velasquez. Now, when it comes to knees, I can relate to the knees. You know what I'm saying? Because I had an old football injury um, that I just had surgery on about three or four years ago. Um, a gnarly, gnarly knee injury from my high school days of playing football. And guys, I'm going to tell you, when your knee, when you injure your knee, it freezes up your whole motor skills, your whole body. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have a severe knee injury, like it freezes your whole body. And it looked like Cain may have, you know, his mind instantly went to his knee. His mind didn't stay where he was in the fight. So, you know, to me, that looks like that's what happened. I mean, it looked like it, it, I mean, it's been a lot of main events, not in just UFC, but Bellator, have all ended really via, really kind of like a technicality because, you know, Matt Mitrion with his, with his fight um, last week, that ended fairly quickly with the growing shot. And then, you know, then you have um, this fight, you know. So, uh, I don't know. How, what, what the future holds for Cain Velasquez after this fight because um, it's a win you know Megan Anderson beat Kat Zingano sort of you know via technicality so um, you know it is what it is but I don't know what the future holds for Cain Velasquez that's kind of a toss up right now because that was I mean god the injury strikes Cain Velasquez again like, man, can Cain Velasquez, does he need to just hang it up? Does Cain need to just hang up the gloves? Because it seems like, I mean, like, he needs to go step over there with Robert Whitaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, golly, but, man, this fight was very, it was a disappointment. I really wanted to see Cain Velasquez go in there and bang it out with Francis Ngannou. That's what I was looking forward to. And it looks like before he slipped, looked like that's exactly what was about to happen. Looks like Kane and Francis were about to bang it out. But, unfortunately, guys, that is not what we got. But anyways, let me let me know what you guys think about this particular fight. Um, do you guys think... Cause now, when they did show a slow-mo, it did look like Francis Ngannou may have hit Kane Velasquez. But there was really no way that Kane would have recovered from that, that knee injury to continue to fight anyways, guys. But anyway, this is your boy BJ from No Filter MMA. Drop them comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe.